Welcome to Vikings football with head coach Bruce Barnum as the Portland State Vikings get ready for their home opening game this Saturday at Hillsborough Stadium. The Vikings taking on the sixth ranked South Dakota Coyotes and it will be a big game for the Vikings as they look for their first win of the season. Kickoff 1 p.m. You can watch the game if you can't make it on ESPN+. Plus. Coach, we'll talk about those Coyotes real soon and it's Coyotes, it's not Coyotes. I know a lot of people like to say that around here, uh, but they are the, the Yotes. So we're going to go with that on this broadcast. Coach, uh, before we talk about them, let's talk a little bit about Weber State. Last week, the Vikings took a loss in their Big Sky opener on the road. The Wildcats came in with a really solid defense, uh, did a good job on the Vikings, came away with the victory. Just a few thoughts on that game. Uh, kudos to their defense. You're right, Mike. They, uh, the three and outs, how they stifle our offense. You know, uh, We have to get better at that. Um, but click over. Um, I'm happy. My defense improved. Our defense improved. Uh, the wheels fell off a little bit with the turnovers there, playing catch up at the end. But um, I thought they, for the most part, they let a couple runs spit, which hurt us. But um, for the most part, compared to the week before, the defense, I thought, was much improved. And defensively, you've got a couple guys leading the way, a couple sophomore linebackers. They had big games. Uh, Michael Montgomery, 16 tackles, Peyton Wing, 13 tackles, I believe they had four tackles for loss between them. Uh, kind of all over the field, making a lot of plays for you. Is that kind of how you want your defense to set up and, and let those uh, very athletic guys make those plays for you? Yeah, the stop on the run, you know, obviously that's where they got most of them. Is, uh, it depends on the coverage you're playing. We're playing a coverage now that puts them in the mix of it if people are going to run inside the tackles. Uh, brings our safeties, they get involved a little more, so you, you see Hurst and... Zach uh, uh, showing up at the line of scrimmage more. Just cause it's based on coverage. You know, if you're man, that's another animal. But we played some uh, cover four against that football team uh, last week, and the guys showed up, and made plays. And on the offensive side of the football, I'll just make one point: uh, a guy we really wanted to see come back and play well this year. So far, through two games, leading you in rushing, leading you in receptions. He got a touchdown at Weber State. Quincy Craig came back from an injury last year. So far, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it was a quick turnaround for him, but but he's been able to function pretty well. How do you feel about his play? Yeah, I, I mean, Quincy, we need to get him going as much as we can, but we also have to remember uh, we've got some guys behind him that are very talented. Uh, can't give him the ball too much, you know, and, and we have to adjust. You know, if we're going to run man schemes, which he did a lot last week, um, one guy makes a problem, and Quincy's got somebody in his face, so uh, you guys have to make that decision. We're going to run man, run schemes, or zone against his team and go from there. Uh, to even put that run, the running backs production higher. All right, we look ahead now to South Dakota, this week's opponent here at Hillsborough Stadium, 1 o'clock this Saturday. The Coyotes come in ranked sixth in the nation. Coach, it's the first of eight nationally ranked FCS opponents that you're going to see this year. It's a killer schedule. This team, probably the best non-conference opponent we've ever had. I went back and I looked at the national rankings. We've never had a non-conference opponent ranked this high come to Portland and play the Vikings. Uh, uh, you've looked at some film. You've gotten a little research on the Coyotes. Uh, their strength has been defense, but talk a little bit about what you've seen on film. Um, solid, uh, disciplined. Um, you know, you usually see one or two people that have a motor on the football team. I think their entire 33 people, special teams, offense, defense, and all the rest that show up. Um, they run to the football. They play hard. You know, they got a guy on offense, number five, they get the ball to. Um, kind of remind, reminds me a little bit. I think he's bigger um, than Davis is lar large, the guy we have in our league, Larson, 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 mm -hmm. I forget his name. Um, but they're a solid football team. Coach Nielsen's, uh, I don't know him, uh, but they're having success because they don't make mistakes and they play tough ass football. Well, last year, South Dakota held seven opponents to 10 points or less, and that's gonna make any head coach happy. Uh, this year, they start an all senior defensive line, a veteran group with over 90 starts among them. They've forced four turnovers. That's probably where the strength of that defense begins is those veterans up front. It is. They, they have those guys on defense, but they also have, I don't know, names. Mike, they got a guy with hair uh, and number 10, a linebacker who, who played pretty damn hard to, or good football players. So 
Um, but they're solid, like, like you said. They're they're strong, you know, and they, they get to the football. They know where they fit, run, and they react well, and they know when to get in their their pass rush, you know, depending on the situation. So it's a challenge, uh, obviously, for the Vikes, but it's also an opportunity. You know, we're at home. Things are a little more comfortable. Uh, you can sleep in for, for an extra 10 minutes on Friday morning instead of getting on an airplane and watch a little more film on your opponent. So um, it, it's good to get our group back here and, you know, uh, we have a shot at a, a ranked Missouri Valley team. Let's go. The Missouri Valley Football Conference, seven nationally ranked teams. The Big Sky Conference has six nationally ranked teams. That's 13. Coach, there's only a top 25. More than half of the nationally ranked teams are in these two conferences. I think you get to see most of them. <laughs> uh, a lot of people say they're the best two conferences in the country. What do you think about that? I'm, I'm positive, just with my experience, these, those two conferences are the best. And that's what they argue about, you know. Um, they want us to play Missouri Valley. Uh, just uh, this is for that reason. It's a better non-league. Uh, yes, we need to play better, uh, but uh, it's college football Saturday. Um, well, let's get him here and see what we can do. Okay, uh, South Dakota. They're led on offense. Uh, they love the running game, much like you. Uh, a couple of teams that really going to want to move the football with the run. Uh, Charles Pierre, leading rusher, well over 200 yards already through two games. He's going to be a real challenge. Uh, you know South Dakota is going to bring a strong defense. Do you see it as a game that's going to be won on the ground? Well, th that's what that's their mantra. It, it appears. You know, we have I haven't played them. I've seen them. Um, I've got a coach that's played against them twice. Uh, but um, they're they're split zone. They got a southpaw quarterback. Um, He's a big guy. I saw him. He's a big he guy. He is. He throws it from all over the place. He Aiden Bauman, yes. Slings it, slings it. He'll run it if you let him. But, you know, uh, they want to run the football. You know, they'll, they'll mess around. They've got the tailback number three or 13. I forget what number he is. Who let him in touches last week. But against uh, the, what, geez, Kurt, the Wisconsin's. But number five is always there. You know, I think the tough yards. Uh, they like number five. I think he played against Hauk, so he must be like a 15-year senior. But, you know, he's thanking COVID and playing his ass off. So uh, they rely on those two guys in the backfield. Uh, their sets, their split zone, their split zone from the back. So, yeah, stop the run. They want to run the football, and we need to stop it to uh, beat the Yotes. That's why you always need to look at the roster, folks, because when you talk to coaches, they don't give you names. They just give you numbers because they're looking at the film, and they just – no, number five and number three, doesn't matter what the name is, they just know they got to stop those two numbers on the field. All right, Coach, um, I got one last question for yeah. you. A little off topic here. What's your favorite pasta dish? Pasta dish? Pasta dish. Manicotti's. Manicotti's. And I haven't had it in years, so I used to, if we went to a, joint, a place uh, that had manicotti's, you know, I'd get it. But now I, I, it's, the straight fallback is... Uh, spaghetti and meat, meat sauce, spaghetti and meatballs good old with fashions. extra sauce though. Oh yeah, I'm that way too. Got to cut. I don't want to see noodles. That's right. I want to see there. noodles. Okay. Know. Okay. Well, here's the reason why I ask because Why? this Friday you'll have oh. a chance to eat some pasta at the Viking Football Luncheon. Fans, come to the Viking Football Luncheon at Old Spaghetti Factory this Friday at noon downtown Bancroft, right on the river. Uh, come and see the coach. You'll see a few players. Uh, you'll learn all about Viking football, and you will get ready for this Saturday's game. And this Saturday, it's the Vikings and the South Dakota Coyotes at Hillsborough Stadium, 1 p.m. on ESPN+. Plus. For all your information on Vikings football, go to GoVikes.com.